Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Sincerely at Stephanie, the place where I share some of the things that make me happy and ignite my creativity. So I'm really excited to share this Dollar Tree haul today. Yes, today is Dollar Tree haul Thursday. And I have a small Dollar Tree haul that I picked up from my local Dollar Tree. I finally got to go in and check out the new Dollar Tree Plus section. Um, I only picked up one item from the Dollar Tree Plus section. And I will show you that item first. I wanted more than one. I wanted to pick up two, but... Um, somebody had changed their mind. It wasn't even in the Dollar Tree Plus aisle and I went back and scanned the Dollar Tree Plus aisle multiple times and couldn't find it. But it seems that because I live in a fairly rural area, the Dollar Tree Plus section seems to be a pretty much a big hit, especially with the prices. And the item that I found is this soap bottle. Look at this. It has this kind of um, brushed kind of finish on the top of the pump. And look how big this is. This is a really good size. It says it's 16.9 ounces, if you can see that, this pump bottle. And guess how much this pump bottle was? I could not believe it. I figured it was going to be a $5 item, but no three dollars and you can see by the size of my hand this is not a small um soap dispenser but it is glass it's not plastic um but i just love that i think it says soap right here i don't think i know but i think this is a super um gorgeous item for your kitchen your bathrooms um this makes a great if you have like farmhouse decor just love it. So this is the only Dollar Tree Plus item that I picked up. Um, so I picked up a couple more things out of the Shore Living Collection and some more, um, a few more things out of the garden section and they're starting to get in their summer decor items. So where to start? Okay, um, I'm gonna start with the, um, I'm gonna start with the one, well actually two, I think that I see right here garden items and I finally found this little stepping stone I know that I've shared these stepping stones in a couple of my hauls and this is the one that I could not find the grow through what you go through and this is the purple one I put these in front of my granddaughter's little playhouse and I kind of staggered them so that she could step on them and she absolutely loved these and she knew exactly what they were and she kind of scotched on them. I put them close enough so she could step on them and they made a really cute addition to her play space. This item I have never seen at the Dollar Tree and I was excited to find it. I thought my husband um, would be a little put off by it because I'll show you what it is. Look at this little horse and you attach this. It comes with the screws. You attach it and right here, I'm afraid I'm going to lose these screws if I absolutely pull this off. Um, where these screws are, there's a little like stake. It's about that tall. And what this is, is a squirrel feeder. So you can... Can you see that on the back? It's a squirrel feeder. And I thought this was so cute. I've not ever seen this. Look at the detail, because this is raised. This is not just, and they can sit on this little saddle and eat their corn. And I thought this was so cute. And the reason I thought my husband would be kind of put off by this is because we've had some issues with squirrels. Um, basically, we had some hickory nut trees around the house and we did have those cut down and removed. But every fall, it was a battle with the hickory nuts in our backyard and on our roof. You could hear the squirrels chewing, gathering the hickory nuts. They'd chew them up um, and get the nuts from inside, get what they wanted from inside, and they would leave the exterior. But you would also hear those hickory nuts 
drop and roll off the roof of our house and it was pretty constant. So our squirrels, they were a little bit of a nuisance for a few months out of the year. Um, and so I just didn't think he would be enormously thrilled about feeding squirrels, but he did like this. So I was really happy about that. He liked this. Okay. So I'm looking here at my haul to see what to show you. Um, another garden item I picked up these plastic, um, flamingos. And I did want to give you a brief history of the plastic flamingos, um, but I didn't pull that up. And I'm sure you could look it up on your own. Um, but what I thought was really interesting um, was that the plastic flamingos became popular, I believe it was after the 1950s, between the 50s and the 70s, um, when plastic manufacturing became really, really popular. Prior to that, um, most of the garden items in the garden were made of stone and plastic flamingos became really popular. Well, on Pinterest, they use these little plastic flamingos for everything. And this is a really popular item. I feel like for decor in coastal communities, sometimes, um, people will decorate these for the holidays. And so I picked up six. I hope that I do have some projects planned. I kind of get, I'm sorry, I get ahead of myself with the words and what I'm thinking in my mind. But I picked up six of these because I do have some DIY projects planned for these. Um, I want to do a couple things for Halloween and even Christmas. And these aren't available at that time. So I did get a few of those. And I got some for the summer as well. So I did get six of these. Um, you know, they're they're okay for $1.25. Have I seen better? Yes, I've seen better. But um, I'm going to do some DIYs with these. And hopefully I will film them and upload them to this channel. Um, because I did do a DIY with this last year. Um last summer before I even started the channel. And when it came to um, the fall time, I didn't have any when I wanted to do those other ideas that had kind of popped into my head. I did not have any. So I made sure to pick up extra. Um, so another item is this little flamingo right here. And they come in two colors. I didn't really care. Um, there's a light pink and a fuchsia pink. Um, this one's looking kind of sparse looking right here. And honest to goodness, I really didn't care what it looked like. I just got this for the frame. Um, I did one of these last year. I know I talk about a lot of these tinsel items that I will redo in the um, thick yarn. Um, and so I redid one of these last year. And unfortunately, my Aussie, she thought that it was her toy and she chewed the leg off. So I was sure to pick up another one this year so that I could um, recreate the little flamingo that I did last year. I don't know if they had this last year, but these banners, these are the, um, yeah, let me open it. Let me open it. Like I said, I get ahead of myself. I get a loss for words. And this is on like a jute cord. And oh, I'm so glad I opened it because look at, the, it has the pineapple, the little leaves, different kinds of leaves. Garland is the word I'm looking for because I was thinking more of a garland um, is what this is. And I like to string the garland in my backyard from my porch to my gazebo. And I do that kind of decorating for the holidays or seasons. Right now I still have rabbits. As you can see, I'm slowly, slowly taking down um, my Easter decor. Yes, it's May, um, but I haven't got it all down yet. So there are still the little bunny rabbits hanging out back. Um, and on my Instagram, and I think in one of my uh, videos earlier on, I showed that I had made some garland with the um, 
little skeletons and also pumpkins. So I had created my own and, and put the pumpkins in between the skeletons. And that's what I had for Halloween and it was super cute. So I did pick two of these up. They were the only two available. Um, and again, last year I did my own. I made my own out of those, uh, the coasters because the coasters are really nice um, to make garland out of as well. But I picked up two of these. They were the only two left. Um, I'll be on the lookout for maybe uh, one or two more. Shore Living Collection. Um, absolutely. I know if you saw my last video, I absolutely love the Shore Living Collection that they have. Not that it's something that I will use in my current decor. I thought this was really, really beautiful. This is a chalkboard surface with, that you can write anything on or even use your Cricut. And I've kind of got a little bit of a glare here for my ring light, but you can see the seashells surrounding it. And if you don't use this or you change it out, you could use the back and use it interchangeably or even use the back, the round surface. But I thought that was beautiful and they had it in the square too. And the square, can you, let me get the glare off. The square has the starfish and the seashells. Just beautiful, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I may put these in the stash, just like with the other ones. Um, I have several for my cruising, you know, my to decorate my door or my room with. This would also be excellent, like this square, and that may be what I do. Um, a lot of people who are frequent cru excuse me, frequent cruisers will leave notes for their um, for their room steward. Um, anything that they might need or just have a nice day, things like that. They'll leave notes to take sticky notes and leave. And this, I could just leave a note on this for him or her daily and it would be on this and I could erase it and put something else on there. Um, but I think that's pretty neat and that might be what I use these for. Super good idea. So um, if you're a frequent cruiser, you might want to pick one of these up. So you can hang it from inside your room and leave notes for your room steward. Also from the short living collection, I picked these up. This one says breathe and this one says relax. And I picked these up simply to decorate in my bathroom. And I picked up the gray um, and that was pretty much, I think they had another tone, but my bathroom of course is in the neutral colors, um, black, white, and gray. Um, or it will be because we're still working on it. Some of the bathroom still has like lavender purple walls and we've been putting up some, um, wallpaper and some of the walls we'll have to paint. And of course, waiting on my bathtub, uh, my new tub and shower installation. Um, I don't know when that'll be. <laughs> I know I think I've talked about it and possibly sharing it as a DIY. So anyway, let's get back to this haul. I like to ramble. Please <laughs> forgive me for that. I do like to ramble. So y'all probably find out a lot of information and know quite a bit about me based on my rambling. But yes, they had these in three different colors. Um, they had like a white and a natural and this gray. Okay, so looking at my stash, more summer things, I thought my granddaughter would have a fun time with these stirrers and there might be other things that we can do with these or I can do with these as far as crafts, I'm not sure, but I didn't wanna pass these up. Look at their legs. Look at their little knee joints and they've got their little feet. Um, there are four in a package, and they do come in two shades. The flamingo does. So cute. So cute. That little flamingo is adorable. I love it. And they had these, which are more spoon-like. And my granddaughter, I keep these little tiny spoons. She is a fanatic for Nutella. She just loves Nutella. She was sick one day, and um, she said, I promise I won't throw up the Nutella. I won't if you let me have some Nutella. That's how much she loves the Nutella. And I was like, that's not a good idea. Her mom and I were like, that's not a good idea. No, we're, no, 
we'll pass on the Nutella right now. But I thought maybe she'd have a fun time with these big, long stir sticks because they look like spoons um, and her Nutella. And there is some detail on these. I don't know if you can tell on these little pineapples. Yeah. There's a little bit of detail. So those are really cute. And they have cactus or cacti. And they're also the little spoon ones. And they had some new drink cups this year. And so for her water, I picked up this. I thought this was perfect. This little um, mermaid um, scale with the little tail and it just sits just perfectly. I thought that was really cute. And the iridescent um, shell. So this really reminds me of the Little Mermaid. So cute and so summery. A couple of food items that I picked up. I did find the uh, cinnamon basketballs, the Frosted Flakes. And I picked up three boxes. I'm gonna tell you that you know, young kids will probably enjoy this. It was okay. I prefer the Frosted Flakes as opposed to the little balls in it. Um, my son's home with his motorcycle. I'm going to take a pause. I'm back. Okay. So, I do have a, a couple more food items. Um, this Low Melinda, the a Greek bowl. And I absolutely love this. I got this last year. And so I took the entire box of what they had left and I think it was just five packets. Um, but I like this for say lunch. I, don't, I know, I don't know if my husband, he's not really into this. He's not really into like the chickpeas and things like that, but I do like this for a quick lunch. So it's good heated and it's also good, you know, as it is or cold. So I recommend this and I think there's a couple other ones that I'm on the lookout for but my store only had this one in stock um, I did find one of these margarita mixes so a dollar 25 for the margarita mix I did want the other version I think it was a strawberry or something but this seemed to be fairly popular um, there might have been like four left um, and this wasn't even where they keep the drinks or the drink mixes at my store. It was in with the spring and summer items on the top shelf. And I did look in the drink section for other margarita mixes and they didn't have any. Books. It wouldn't be a haul for me if I didn't pick up some books. And I found these adorable little books here. And they are from Albury Books. So it's not a green briar product. And I got all of the ones that I could find. This one is Munch. There's a huge hungry monster on the loose eating everything in its path. Munch the little monster stays at home to guard his house. But will the massive Munch, Muncher, Munch, Munch. So, this is just a cute little story. Here are some of the illustrations. So, I think that tomorrow, when my granddaughter comes over, we'll read some of these. I think that these are the ones that she might pick and read first. Tiny, it's Tiny Ranosaurus and the Big Footosaurus. My hair is tickling my face. But there's the tiny Rhinosaurus and the big Footosaurus. I'm not scared of a silly big Footosaurus, roared Tiny. So, oh look, and here's the abominable snowman on the back here. Oh, he's in one of the illustrations. Looks like they hit him with a snowball, a large snowball. So Bigfootosaurus is is okay. <laughs> Look. And there are other little dinosaurs. That's cute. And then there is Tiny Ranosaurus and the Neversaurus. 
<laughs> Look at that face. He is so funny. Anyhow, he's going to catch him with his, he's going to catch the Neversaurus with his little net. Many, many years ago when fierce dinosaurs ruled the earth, the fiercest dinosaur of all was asleep. But when he wakes up, there's bound to be more manic mayhem. Will Tiny and his friends find the Neversaurus? Or will they end up saying they never saw the Neversaurus? <laughs> so cute. They think this is going to be one of her favorites, these are. And here's another one. Whoops, there goes the Tiny Ranosaurus. I had to really look at these because I almost missed one. Look at that. Because they're completely different books, but the same little guy. Many, many years ago, again, when the fierce dinosaurs <laughs> ruled the earth, the fiercest dinosaur of all was Tiny Rhinosaurus. Because he wasn't a big, as big as some of the other dinosaurs, Tiny had to be especially fierce to make up for it. Enter the manic world of, by far and away, the grumpiest little dinosaur ever. Hmm, I wonder if this is... <laughs> I wonder if he, the Tyrannos, Tyrannosaurus, the Triceratops, is the grumpiest little dinosaur. I'm not sure, but we will see. Look at these, look at these. Oh yes, this will be super fun. These she will love. Um, this one is Mess Monsters in the Garden. Tiptoeing through the tulips. The muck is flying and the mischievous monsters move outside. What will they get up to this time or will mommy win again? More Manic Monster Mayhem from the creators of the best-selling Mess Monsters. And again, this is the same. All of these are the Albury books. Um, and then these, again, again, this is another series. So this is the Albury books. And this is Dear Class, <laughs> The Rabbits. And I had to look at this because look how this book is, it's actually... This is the side of the book. So this is the front of the book. So it is absolutely read this way. And I thought that was cute. Dear class, Sunny Bank Primary School. The dear, dear dragon class. <laughs> so is this about dragons? No, I, I guess they just have a... I just guess that the teacher gave the class the name the dragon class so we'll have to see about that one dear miss and is this the same yes so it's it's got it's on the top it's a top down keep out top secret And there's the illustrations. Look at that. Because it says, Miss, Amazon very hot and dangerous. No sign of treasure. Okay, so that is it for the children's book. And I believe I just have one more trio of items. No, I had one more food item, which is the yellow popcorn by Jolly Time. So I think $1.25 is decent for that. Um, but again, one more trio of items. They are wrapped up. I'm just gonna throw the paper in the floor. Okay. So these, they are gorgeous. And they had these in three colors. They had a clear and they had this kind of turquoise blue, the very gorgeous cobalt blue, and they had a white. But I picked up my trio. I wanted the three. So So this is what I picked up, this trio of these gorgeous candle holders. And I saw someone, I don't know where it was at, if it was on TikTok or if it was on YouTube, I'm not sure. 
they made, they used some of the um, solar lights and they um, used those to light these up. So these are just absolutely gorgeous. You can hang them, put them on the table. Um, you can also change these out. I will probably change this out because my favorite was this this turquoise but I preferred the little starfish hanging from this and of course I have those plastic starfish and um, sand dollars so I don't know if those will be too big to go on this or I don't have to use anything at all because of course I just really loved it for the glass and I could put something more along the lines of what I would use because I don't do a lot of this. Again, if I had a gorgeous um, coastal home, definitely, this this is definite, but I do love these colors. That is the end of my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed day. And to all of you mothers out there, expectant mothers, whatever your age, mothers, um, y'all have a happy Mother's Day. If y'all like my content, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified the next time I upload a new video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!